It's a question of how are they going to actually start this attack and see if they can start getting some picks off of it. We even have Roams here from from uh, Choi from downstairs on that, that Jaeger. So the question is, is he going to go for like any kind of peek out or anything like that? What is up my coconut bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be going over the awesome game that happened between Flipside Tactics and G-Bots. Now kicking this right off without wasting any time we're going to start off with a really nice Valkyrie camera and this one is so easy to do. All you're going to have to do is come to these staircases right up next to the bar and on the other side of the freezer and then all you're going to have to do break this window down obviously and then you're gonna be able to throw your camera out right there. There's a couple different variations to do this one, but the best one is to be able to place it right underneath the side of the wall because that is gonna keep it really, really hard from being detected. Now, I threw another one out there also, so no matter where it lands, even if it's a little bit high, a little bit low, it's still good. You're gonna have a clear vision of both of these sides of the building on Cafe Dostoevsky, and you'll be able to see if anybody's repelling up to the roof now another variation of this one is you can just throw it right outside and it's going to land on the windowsill. Of course, as the levels get higher and higher, this one's not going to work as good because of the blue light. But as you guys see, awesome vantage point. Now let's move on to the next spot. But there is so lucky this time. Yeah, Min's set on Christmas tree. And he knows that, that uh, Dred's going to be playing this angle, so that's smart. But he does start getting tagged a lot. He's just gonna go for it. Somehow, oh, he actually drops it. Nice enough from Mint. Choi has no clue two. what's going on, and Mint gets kill number two. And that's it. How did that even happen? He that got tired of being shot. That's how that <laughs> happened. He said, "You know what? If I'm gonna get killed here. I'm gonna go out swinging." And indeed, swings for two heads there. Nicely done by Mint. Turning this around here. This is looking a little bit more like a flip side take or a win here on defense. All right, and so this next spot, we're just gonna be talking in general about jump outs on windows and how there is definitely a time and a place to do this. So if you guys were watching the Pro League match, Mint was kind of getting pinched right here by the piano and he pretty much had a choice, like either stay here and inevitably get taken out or you can YOLO swag it, jump out the window, take out the guy repelling, run around the corner, take out anyone that might be on the side over here and most of the time people look at this as just a total suicide death trap but i just want to point out there definitely is a time and a place for all of these aggressive flanks and especially on maps like hereford base if you're using pulse or something like that there's always a time and a place for that so always be on the lookout for that whether attacking or defending now i know a lot of cautious players would most likely have tried to pretty much just stay here by the piano maybe pick off a kill but they know where you're at you're pretty much gonna die that is gonna be the best time to take the yolo swag leap of faith and go for it and as you guys saw in the previous clip that was just the perfect timing and judgment by mint to make the call to do that got a very very nice 2k with a very very exposed flank and very aggressive and very very awesome hearing it yet and easy peasy making sure it stays that way there we go mint's gonna get taken down but it's easy peasy as you were saying gets one kill of his own line with one and Dred with another Ooh, this leaves it man. in a 2v1 and this bomb should definitely get planted not sure if the yokai is still in play Dred's gonna get shot and at least down for now but easy peasy is very low on hp i don't think it's gonna be easy for him at all lion is full hp and he's sitting behind the steam engine oh, no, he's picking it back up this is now a 2v1 low health on easy peasy here oh. we go beautiful tap from easy peasy one way to start this you still got a lot of time left on this diffuse too potentially if you can just find the angle this oh my god the taps are just this insane is a fight right here here we go all right and moving on to our next tip a lot of people don't realize this but there are tiny little cracks in between this little machinery whatever this is i don't even know yeah some type of machinery and there are so many nice lines of sight hidden within this tiny little machinery thing there's this little pixel uh kind of a pixel peak not really a nice little angle there over here there's a little bit of a wider angle lying down looking up there's an angle so just all kinds of little angles in between here so next time you find yourself in a firefight between train room and over here by the staircase you can come over here take cover you don't necessarily need to just stand out here in the open cover a lot of people make that mistake you can literally crouch here and look through these nice little angles over here and as you guys saw in the clip they're having like a constant back and forth battle of checking all these different angles 
popping up really quick, going for a headshot, going back down in the angle. So really, really sick lines of sight. Everything they need to make this work. And now this is perfect because Drid is right behind him. That is a nasty angle to look through. Yeah, you don't want to put a coat behind that server. Yeah. And uh, this is this is the combo where you have the shield that's two down in front that everybody's going to try to shoot at. And then you have the glass that'll do a very quick one or double tap. Yeah. Nobody's really expecting and this. All right. Now we are finally going to be doing the map bank. It is so rare in this past season that bank was picked for pro league games. And finally, we got a few tips for you guys on the map bank. Really, really sick. Unfortunately, there weren't as many as I was hoping for. But still, we got some pretty cool ones, so let's go over them. So this first one's going to be a really similar line of sight to the Glass line of sight coming from the construction spawn on the map Clubhouse. And that is going to be in the tunnels. You're going to be able to look in between these little white support beams. I mean, not white. I'm, I'm colorblind, obviously. Yellow support beams in the caves, tunnels, and looking into this room right over here, which is very, very common for bomb. Of course, you guys all know the bomb is gonna spawn right there, and most people are gonna come in and try to plant it right around this area. And so being able to take control of this server room is very, very important, and this line of sight is very, very sneaky and nice. Camera's instead that you see at least four on site right here. So I don't think Jackal is gonna be as useful I don't think it's specifically because Gbot learned that, hey, they might just be using the Jackal. All right, and moving right along, this next one's going to be a really nice Valkyrie camera coming from open area. And this one's really sick because when people are going to be entering from this back alley parking lot, this wall right here is going to be blocking this camera. So they're going to move forward, check in angles, and look at that. There's a hidden camera right behind that wall. Really, really sick. I'll show you guys exactly what this looks like. Oh man, I sh yeah, I should throw it a little bit lower than that. If you guys throw it a little bit lower than that, then you'll be able to see down into the hallway also. So there we go. Right there, all, as you guys can see, you can see all the way down into this doorway right here. Really, really sick camera spot. Really, really dark. And that is really badass. Here's as well. Didn't work out last time uh, because they got caught out and then weren't able to defend the site well enough because this is a site where you get once you get surrounded, mm -hmm. it can be problematic. You're not going to be exactly defend. All right, you guys. And now this next one is not going to be completely map specific to bank. But I just want to point out, anytime you guys see staircases like this and doorways, you should always just might as well just check underneath of them because this gives you such a huge advantage if there are any roamers. And the reason for that being is that you are so much lower than them that, oh man, I can't just rip down this barricade, hold on. There we go, so then I'm looking right over here and I'm so much lower than them. If I'm looking at that same angle, look at that, I cannot see all the way to the staircase. I can only see underneath and then the angle stops. So anytime there's a staircase looking underneath the door, always just a good idea to check underneath of them, especially if somebody is like defending on Hereford base, just for example, again, defending master bedroom on Hereford base, you can always just stand on the stairs that go all the way up and down and take a look underneath doorways and it's like that on a ton of different maps so just wanted to point that out but anyways this was another kind of quick one and as always i'm gonna leave the final clip of the game winning final few seconds of the match between g bots and Flipside tactics i'm super glad they were finally playing on bank super fun to watch even though there weren't as many tips and tricks as i would have liked to see but anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace. How he wants to play this yet because there's that barbed wire there. He can't do anything about and he knows smoke is here. Do something about it. Oh, the whiff shot. Oh, though. he backs off at the last second and two kills coming from more like two health. Uh, this, is, this is a spot where Brazilian meta as well. You'll see Caveira holding off the spots 12 right in that stairwell. Yeah, and shotguns are usually the thing to do yeah. right there. And it works out very oh, well. Choi. Trading back a little bit though, 3v3 now actually can oh. go either way, there, never mind. Attackers Again, going back towards the flip side, but two of their attackers, or one oh, of their attackers at least on very low health. Their so, oh, here we go, the double end!